Good evening, Dan. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story, four firefighters are in the hospital after a fire truck crashes in rural Wayne County. Daniel Burbank joins us now. And Daniel, you spent the afternoon at the scene of the crash and got a firsthand account of how that community rallies around first responders. Yeah, Dave, it's amazing how close-knit people are in that area. Green Valley Volunteer Fire Department truck 804 is twisted metal and broken glass. Now, tonight, some are gathering in the hospital rooms and volunteer fire department as word spreads of this crash. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. We're doing okay. Yeah, appreciate you showing There's a noticeable absence from the Green Valley Fire Department, truck 804, and its four members. Grant them grace and mercy, and that you would bring them peace. Rome, Canova, and Huntington Fire Departments are taking turns covering for Green Valley. The firefighters aren't ready to talk, but welcomed us to show the brotherhood of all fire departments in the area. In a small community like this, uh, you know, Salt Rock backs up Green Valley, West Hamlin backs up Salt Rock, and it's just, that's the way it works. Uh, uh, so they're all, they all respond to something like this. Somebody's hurt. And they stand with each other. That's correct. Truck 804 and the four firefighters were driving to a report of a fire in the Beach Fork area around one Wednesday afternoon. The West Virginia State Police and Cabell County Accident Reconstruction Team say the initial investigation is showing the fire truck might have partially went off the roadway, the driver overcorrected, and the truck crashed into the creek. Uh, this time of year, the, the, uh, the, the ground's soft and you got issues, roads breaking off. I mean, it's, it's just what we have to drive on. One person was brought to the hospital in a helicopter and three others by ambulance. Another firefighter telling us they're trained to help others, but it's shocking when fellow first responders are the ones needing help. Now, sources are telling me that the fire chief was actually one of those that was on board during this crash, Dave. So how badly are the firefighters hurt? What we know is that there are some broken bones, some cuts, but the good thing is all four are expected to be okay. That's good news. All right. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. You.